about buying something. ship even come from there's not much left but take a look around Try to get my stock up by the time you return. Oh god, it's over. My life is over. What's wrong? Oh hey, I remember you. You're the ones who helped us out way back when. Seeing as we've come all this way, I suppose we had best ask, what is the matter? I had a fight with my husband and ran away from home. Mm-hmm, yes, yes. You may color me utterly flabbergasted. But it's all that idiot's fault. I was saving up a bunch of apples, and he went and ate ten of them. That's... actually sort of impressive. Well, sure, I, I may have lost my temper a little, but... I can't believe he just up and left. He's been gone for a week now, and it's... <laughs> all right, all right. We'll help you find him. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you so much. And here we go again. Uh, shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Hey there. I'm looking for the guy with the red bag. You seen him around lately? Really? Is that couple fighting again? Yeah, the guy took off and hasn't been seen since. I take it this isn't a surprise? Hardly. Their arguments are legendary. We're actually considering selling tickets as a tourist attraction. 
Anyway, I think he's from that village with the library. Maybe he went back home. I think his brother is a guard there or something. Thanks for the tip. I'll see what I can figure out. Say, you're pretty handsome. Care to buy a lonely woman a drink? Yeah, I'm good. To think that couple's petty squabbles have become something of an attraction for the locals. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Seeing people like that puts a little spring in your step, you know? You humans truly are a maddening bunch. Such buffoonery does little more than wear this old tome out. searched the southern plains back when the wife ran off too, right? I believe we did, yes. A lot's changed since then. So it's kind of nice when we find something that hasn't. The fact that couple is still arguing almost fills me with... I don't know, hope, I guess. If you asked me, that particular couple could benefit from a little change. you. What's up? You're related to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Yeah. He's my little brother. Haven't seen him in a while, though. A shame. Have you any idea where he may have absconded to? Not a clue. Like I said, I haven't seen him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, but the last time I did see him, he said something about using his ferry to deliver letters. Maybe you should try talking to someone at the post office. I guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Just once, I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be sold in the general vicinity of the Asuka. I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's all right to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. Say there, lad, have you ever penned a missive? You mean a letter? No. I'm not big on writing. It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. What's to figure out? One simply takes Quill in hand and unleashes their soul upon the canvas of the page. Whatever you say.
Hey, Post... Oh, sorry. You're not him. I'm sure as hell not. I just swung by to pick up a letter and wound up running the damn place. Anyway, you here for a package or something? Uh, no. There's this couple who's always fighting and the husband took off, so I'm trying to track him down. Ring any bells? <laughs> Sorry, pal. You're asking the wrong guy. Still, that's pretty weird. My buddy's daughter took off too. Maybe running away is the cool thing to do now. I find it exceedingly unlikely this pair of runaways is mere coincidence. Any idea where she might have went? That is the question, isn't it? Actually, you know what? I bet she went to check out the huge shipwreck that drifted into the inlet the other day. Not often something like that comes around. It's all the kids have been talking about. A shipwreck, is it? I suppose we might as well investigate, seeing as how we lack any other tenable leads. Right. Let's head for the inlet. That husband and wife sure do enjoy... Kaine! Emil! What's going on? I haven't seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever, I guess. Sorry for the surprise. Kaine said she sensed something strange in the area. Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. I'm not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific piece of information the hussy has graced us with. What is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get moving. We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. This ship is in a state of want and decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds to it. These planks seem to be covering a rather large hole. We can probably get in if we move them out of the way. I'm worried about whatever it is Kaine is sensing. We should make sure we're really prepared before going inside. This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. Whatever. <laughs> you sure you're all right, Kaine? You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the process? Sure. Let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case! Come on, Kaine. Let's get the lead out. This place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. Look there, on the floor. I believe we have found ourselves a lantern. And there's still some oil in it. Nice. Wait, did you 
see that girl just now? I did indeed. How on earth did she manage to get behind us? Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post office. Best track her down and take her back to town with us. Seed. Let us fumble about and see if we cannot find one. I say, where are you going? We must search the ship for clues regarding the missing townspeople. There's no one here. Weird. It's like we just saw a ghost. Oh, oh, what foolishness. I am certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. What is with this ship anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. Really dark up ahead. Then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found, hmm? What's this? An apple. It's a bit bruised, but it's not super old or anything. 
I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman with the red bag. Perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait out the storm after yet another spirited debate with his wife. Ah, oh, goodness. What a troublesome couple. Let's keep moving. What was that sound just now? Sounds like it came from the floor above us. This barrel's been knocked over, and there's flour everywhere. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance? Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, I expect we will find our way to her. Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. Wonder what it's for. It would seem to be this ship's logbook. Let us avail ourselves of a gander. Hmm. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, and the places it made port. All in a painstaking level of detail. I would expect no less for a vessel of this size. Until the day the records suddenly cease. What the hell happened on this ship? The white handprints on the wall lead in the direction of this door. That's weird. How is it locked if the girl just used it? Unless she's actually... I demand you cease your interminable chatter about ghosts at once. The simplest explanation is that she locked the door from the other side. I didn't even say anything yet. In any case, if we want to use the door, we'll have to find a key. Did you see that light on the other side of the shelves? A shame we cannot investigate further with these blasted things in our way. I would like a word with the interior designer who thought to put them here. Hang on. I think I can move these. There's a notebook on this desk. Oh, wow, this thing is crammed full of information. A record of the cargo they carried, no doubt. Let me see. <sighs> by my pages, this ship was used by slavers. How simply atrocious. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? And made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would seem. How could they do something like that? I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin for misery in all corners of this accursed world. There's a breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Try giving it a nudge. Delightful. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? Treasure, perhaps? I wish. Looks like a bunch of iron tools. Those are no mere tools, lad. They are instruments of torture. 
I shudder to think what evil transpired in this room. There don't seem to be any shades around, at least. Fortunate for us. Now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. The white tracks end here. Wait, I hear something. Whatever that sound was, it stopped. I swear it sounded like a girl. This is a voice pipe. A contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway location. Which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to. Hold a moment. I spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall. <sighs> yes. This pipe connects to a cabin in the ship's stern. Onward and, uh, inward, I guess. This little lantern has brought us quite far, hasn't it? Yeah. And the light it gives off makes me feel, I don't know, safe somehow. Well, aren't we the romantic? We've done enough searching here. Onward. You would go back from whence we came? Let us investigate further in. Say, where are you going? Seems this door will not open. A kitchen, is it? Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. 
This must have been where they prepared meals for the crew. There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice, hold the peppers. Looks like the crew had some say over how they ate. <laughs> to be picky about one's food while at sea is a luxury indeed. Thinking back on it, the cuisine we were served during our visit to the bickering couple's home was quite particular in its choice of ingredients, was it not? Tell me about it. I feel like I've sampled every single recipe in the Apple Fanatics cookbook. Once we track down the ferryman, we should invite them to a meal at our place. A fine idea, lad. Oh, damn! What the hell is this smell? Perhaps it is wafting from further inside? Another apple. Just how many apples does that quibbling husband keep on his person while he's out and about? Let's keep searching. Uh, Vice? I think the floor is... Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh been better, but I'll live. I can't see a thing down here. And what is that terrible stench? I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hold. The lantern got away from me during the fall. We'd better look for it. Hmm? Weiss, that's it! We found the lantern. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Oh dear. Look at the bodies. They are all people from town. And, I fear, the missing ferryman. Oh no. This can't be real. Why? Why did he... Why did everyone have to... God damn it! Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. I won't let them get away with this. That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes. Hey there, you two! Hey. I didn't know you guys came back inside. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. But then, we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. You sure had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kane? A little, yeah. Sorry for the trouble. Good. That's... that's good. Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? <laughs> Tell me, Kaine, that presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters, maybe? They all seem to have the same words written upon them, but the penmanship is so poor I cannot make heads nor tails of it.
This would be the final room, yes? The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. Let us proceed with utmost caution. It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Old lad. This is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something is clearly amiss. There. Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? Oh, hey, it's you. Been a while. Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... <sighs> the girl is, you know, bleeding? I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but, uh... Well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's time of the month? <sighs> so sorry sorry. Clearly crossed a line there. Forget I said anything. Stay the hell away from her! She isn't... <laughs> Figure something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. The two of them will be fine, but you and I must withdraw. <sighs> the ship is collapsing. We must leave at once. Very much aware of that. Thanks. Let's go. Shades! Damn it, they're in the way. Looks like we can get out through that hole up there. Oh, great. These things regenerate. Only cut to the ones in your pot. Glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good. But that poor postman is still trapped inside. We'd better go help him out. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. What on earth? Generative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This 
light. Something is coming. Get out of the way at once! I can't believe that little girl was actually this thing. This monstrosity is unlike anything we've faced before. Remain vigilant! Get to those people. The town will be in grave danger should we leave this creature be. We must end it here and now. you have. Did we get it? Oh hell, that thing's huge! such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. Here it comes! Dodge! smart unless you want to get dead. This thing will destroy the town if we don't stop it. Increasing. Yeah, I can see that. Damn it. My word, if this continues. Hey, 
Over here! This guy's important to you, isn't he? Thing immortal? How can it withstand such an onslaught? I'm... I'm really scared, guys! We will be in grave danger if it unleashes that attack. We must stop it! What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed! Together. You disgust me!
Thanks. You really saved our bacon. You've all done so much for me. Offering a little refuge is the least I can do. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade. But I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire time. The fault lies with that foul creature alone, Postman. Not yourself. I... I hope I can believe that someday. All right, well, we'd better get going. There's someone else we need to break this news to. Fair enough. I hope to see you out there on the old letter trail again soon. Hey, did you find my husband? Uh, yeah. The thing is... Wait, why are you hesitating? Is he all right? Please tell me he's all right. Come on, say something already. Your husband was killed by a shade. I'm sorry. We tracked him down, but it was already too late. No, it can't be true. That big idiot. Always carrying his bag around. Thinking about me all the time. Oh god, this can't be happening. <laughs> it saddens this old tome to think we'll never hear those two at each other's throats again. Only I'd gotten to him sooner. Damn it. Do not let it burden you so, lad. You did the best you were able. threatening that shade on the beach the other day? How did you know it was trying to protect the postman? Just a feeling, I guess. <laughs> All right. Available to discuss a certain sensitive matter? What is it? People are saying a shade has managed to enter our village. I was hoping you could track it down. This isn't a very big place. Wouldn't we have seen it by now? I had my own doubts at first, but there have been too many witnesses for me to ignore this matter any longer. Monster. 
she saw it too? Apparently. I can't say for sure who's seen it or not. I saw the monster right around here. You did, huh? Can you tell me what the monster looked like? It was over at the river, and it was huge and scary. I didn't like it. Over by the river, huh? Let's go take a look. The foul tendrils of the shades have finally extended into this village. Fine. Then we find him and kill him. Will it be that easy? I wonder. What do you mean? Would you be able to simply slaughter the people you lived amongst for so many years? Would you truly murder friends if you suspected them of being shades? I wouldn't have a choice. Jonas not coming back to a village full of those things. When the time comes, I pray you can follow through. If we can't go hunting, then we have to fish. Thank goodness for the sea. Shades on the coast, the ferryman dead. You've had quite the rough trip. That poor ferryman used to tell me stories of the epic quarrels he had with his wife. He found the whole thing quite amusing. He loved her, though. He loved her with all that he was. I'm very sad to hear that he's gone. Still, you made it back safe, and I'm glad for that. Have you any new information about the key to the Shadow Lord's castle? I'm still working on the decryption, but I'm afraid progress has stalled. Loyal Cerberus might refer to a dog, but I've never seen anything that would fit the bill. It must be pretty complicated if even you can't decode it. Well, you're our last hope, so please keep trying, okay? I will. By the way, I was walking by your house earlier, and I noticed you had some mail. You might want to check it out. Thanks. I'll do that. Oh, one last thing. Since the ferryman was missing work, I arranged for someone else to handle the job. I'll make sure they know to let you use the boat as before. Gotcha.
Even without those we have lost, the world relentlessly continues to turn. Does this old book good to see a boy become a man? Probably not a good idea to turn down a wedding invitation from a king. Let's go to Facade. like a shade was ever here. Perhaps the young lass misremembered the location. Yeah, maybe. Kids aren't so great at stuff like that. Let's go ask her again. You saw the monster, but we couldn't find anything. Are you sure you saw it by the river? Um, oh, 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 I remember now. I saw it in the square in front of the library. Okay, let's go check it out. There's nothing here. Guess the kid was wrong again. Oh, this is a fool's errand. Even a young girl could hardly confuse a library gate with a river. Perhaps we should ask some of the other villagers. Yeah, I guess. Yes, I saw it. Gave me quite a start, let me tell you. Strange thing was, it seemed to be accompanied by a child.
I think I saw a shade a few days ago, but I can't be sure. Whatever I saw, it wasn't much bigger than a kid. Hey, you don't happen to know where my boyfriend is, do you? Sorry, lady. No idea. Right. Of course you don't. I'm so silly sometimes. See, my boyfriend just up and vanished five years ago. I keep waiting for him, but I have no idea where he went or if he's even... Hey, wait. You're that kid who does whatever people ask him to do, right? Well then, go find my boyfriend. I saw something near the shopping district that kinda sorta looked like a shade. You know, if you squinted. The girl's story is not agreeing very well with the rest of the villagers' testimony. I think we should question her a bit further. Something is amiss. How do you mean? We are being lied to. You think? Why? I cannot say. Perhaps it is but an honest mistake. Or perhaps there is a good reason for the lie. Listen, I'm not angry, but I need you to tell me the truth. Why did you lie about the shade? I'm not lying! I saw it! It was big and scary and... and... and big! Tell us this, then. In which location did you not see the shade? You're weird. But, um... I guess I didn't see it near the northern gate or on the hill to the west. Oh, it's you, eh? There it is. That kid must have been trying to protect it. A touching story, but humans and shades cannot coexist. We'd best defeat this monster while we can. Agreed. It's dead. Let's go back to the client. Was having trouble sleeping knowing there were shades in our very town.
アルテルは中来たぜ伝えくさ Days of bachelorhood are coming to a close, King. Congrats. Forgive my prying, but we are all eager to know the identity of your lucky bride. Kitsrekita, Usai Kyori. Hold on. Fira? You have grown into a fine example of womanhood. I'm sure you will make a splendid queen. Kainé's gonna want to see this. Ha 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 ha! Ah, it's a little bit sad. Been to Son Kishi, the day tree that the lucky. Oh, a mere sight. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Your Royalness. Congratulations on your wedding. Hack. Um, I'm sorry, Kaine's not here, but. Kekot Kurunaro? It just a sour tight touch. Had a chatter. You're Sere, Yari Satache, Tutti Tesre. Of course. How could we refuse? To think they even have rules governing the timing and water temperature of a bath. What's it to you? You don't even take baths. Kane? What is the matter? I don't like this. Weddings are festive occasions, you know? Should I even be here? We were invited here by the king, remember? Sure. But what about everybody else? This city isn't like our villages. It's all about the rules here. And since there isn't a specific rule about you, I honestly think they won't give a crap. Yeah, maybe. Will you at least procure a new set of lingerie for the festivities? Some spring colors, perhaps? Keep talking, Book. What's up? <laughs> Just having trouble getting to sleep. Something bothering you? No. The opposite, in fact. I'm just so excited about the wedding that I can't settle down. I bet it's gonna have streamers and dancing and bears on unicycles and everything. I'm sorta jealous. I wish I was Fira. You'll find a nice bride someday, Emil. Huh? Oh, right. Uh, bride. <laughs> you must be tired indeed if you misunderstood that simple social nicety. Exactly it. Liu Teta Weta Telegram to Kuzesh Suzuita Kaisam took it to Kizoto Yaritta. 
ションシッチ。いわいつとダンサー、ロアインダ。Everyone needs to blow off steam and celebrate once in a while. Indeed, your people have earned a moment of rest and respite. Kodata. Plus, you want to make Fira happy, right? Anyway, life is better when you have someone to fight for. Artura, Chisatata, Taiket Tassa. Are the best. There's flowers everywhere. Everyone's happy. It's just great. I'm kind of jealous. Aren't you jealous, Kaine? No. Oh, come on. Igun to Lasenchi Koi Arterua Chase Yorinchi Kotechi Saito to say Otei. それルタイトより打って、いやですか
好きだ I would rethink this course of action, King. Ahead lies a battle you cannot win. Kaizen Yuri! ペルアトルカイザムトトデクラックルトデクゼルガアントイカラツグキテテカイザムタリエキューサカイザムラオットトキテソードリリスダカイカイゾムアクラゼルガーンウツとサケタこれでサトアルテルアチンクルチラスアルテルアトヤリラフィアクスタアディムフィアギキタタトサダキラツヨリウタタキツシリュウリュウトサディムキョリウアイソトフィアトツダタアディムアンダダセテッドシケンユーカイザムデクアンダルアミシカアンダイエフィアロテトヤリカキーソデキタ食いてゲルダエルダラルエルダとカイザムでカイザムとアイトフィアアイザムでフィアチュレセキタとトダゼルガンでアンダーゼルガンヤーリツガスチクリトカイザムゼスタルペア
体リスラ関係かけて下すわれアルムーキエルトチーギサンってきたアルン浮き汗んクユリエ押してキルタチエククギリスアーガイえカイザムユーリ行きお辻デクゴヒュラカイザムチツストジーおわくれたしユーリこうだたチヨリウタイゼルガンタチトグラリー行ってくたい Forget it It's for Fira Let's move Are not infected with shades. But as for the leader, if even one shade is here, then I have to kill all of them. That's what Firo would want. Indeed. You must worry about protecting more than yourself in this battle.
きてそうちだかれそえたくそとくらさがすと意識しゅうでライアリスてち I believe that young Fira was perfectly content with the life she had. Of course, does this not sound like what she would say to you? She was terribly proud of her king, and now you must do all you can to honor her memory. Is that another infernal rule? Ulan Perua Tonri Arterua Chioa Anta Toshitoshi Arterua Yari Lo Fia. The poor king. This is all the shade's fault. This is the last of them. Now we can find the Shadow Lord and Yona. We certainly can. Hold on, Yona. I'm almost there. We should return to Popola and see if she has any final words for us. I marvel at how relatively simple a task this retrieval process proved to be. It is almost as if someone deliberately set us on this path. You're overthinking again, Vice. But... Uh, I don't care if it's a trap. Yona's waiting for me and I'm going. I see.
You're really gonna do it? The whole village is buzzing, you know. They say you're gonna go rescue Yona. I guess it's really happening, huh? I'll bring her back. I promise. Um, about that... Yeah? Nothing. Never mind. Popola just loves to worry. Anyway, you be careful. Yes, do be careful. Thanks. <laughs>